Master, let's speed it up, all right? All right. But he's Ruben definitely... uh, pointing at the camera. Yeah, so we're ready to go. Looks like he's on the play. He's going to lead with an ancient tomb. Uh, <clears throat> the eight soul lands are big deals in uh, Ruben's deck. Oh, Holy both, crap. He has all is. the cards he needs. Yep. He's so, actually dead next turn, uh, BBD is, unless he duresses here. Yep. Now, you definitely play... A, can you you have to play it in this order, don't you? Yes. Yeah. So uh, oh, actually, if no, you no, want no, to turn one minute. No, he has two go he has two ancient tombs. So yes, he can go off next turn. Yep. Yes. So uh, uh Panther Servant will name a color doesn't really matter which color. Right. And then grindstone, it mills two cards. Oh BBD. And after the same color, repeat it. Yeah, BBD yeah. is dead right here, I think. Yep. Uh, uh, unless on this BBD, somehow uh, gets the either the Getaxian Pro Breed or the just uh, so uh, he has a Lotus Petal that he right, can make yeah. black mana. Yeah, but doesn't look good. More than likely, uh, BBD uh, BBD is just going to die on turn two. Yeah. So he has Infernal Tutor. He keeps on top, and then a Trop Island. Trop Island is an interesting addition in the Storm deck. Uh, what's the green for? The green is for sideboard cards, sideboard uh, cards. namely Abrupt Decay. Okay. Okay. Cards like Chalice of the Void and Counterbalance, incredibly difficult to deal with conventionally. Sweet deck, Brian says. Cool story, bro. Thanks for uh, the skill intensive finish. Slide your deck over to the right and dead. <laughs> Nice. The Casual shrug. turn two kill from yeah. Ruben Bressler. And that's kind of the shrug, you know, you can't come into a legacy tournament and not, and, and be upset by that. Because right. that is what it, the deck's built to do. It's built absolutely. To, it's built to kill you on turn two. If they do it, bully for you. It had, not, that's like, that's basically Ruben's <laughs> best possible draw. Right. It doesn't oh. get better than that. <clears throat> right. So and Brian, is, Brian is very capable of those draws as well. Right, right. I, you know, I've killed people with Storm on turn two quite frequently. Right. It's even possible to kill somebody on turn one. I don't think I was Storm. playing against you, but I played against a Storm player. It was an invitational couple ago. And I not only thought seize in turn one, but therapy pulled another card out and then died on turn three. Yeah. After a thought seize and a therapy, I'm like, I didn't think that was possible. I thought he was cheating somehow and added some Storm counts. But nope, deck is very resilient to, to uh, hate. Um, I mentioned earlier uh, your fall in the top eight, which is kind of why we said we could never count anyone out, because I would have put my house on you against the elf deck. That had the triple therapy yes. in that game. I want to put my, I want to take my, I sold my car, put, or at least take the title of my house, my car, put it on you in the match, and I would have been a uh, broken homeless. But it's not <laughs> like it was your fault. It's thankfully just, you didn't. <laughs> thankfully I didn't. It's not your fault. It's just sometimes these decks can just, in legacy, there's answers, and you draw enough of them, you can stop any deck, no matter how bad the odds are. Right. Right. <clears throat> so we're here on the sideboard. What is uh, what is BBD sideboard in? I can okay. help with. The, I know how. I know what Panthers was. All right. So. In. I wouldn't imagine uh, BBD sideboarding much. One of my biggest, uh, you know, rules about this deck is, unless you're absolutely positive, do not sideboard. Right. Because when you water down your storm, a storm deck, it gets pretty nasty. Right. You might think like, oh, I lost two, uh, two permanents, right. uh, Painter Servant and Grindstone, that I can abrupt decay. Right. Well, the problem with citing an abrupt decay is you combo less frequently. Right. In addition. Uh, the other uh, aspect of Ruben's deck that's so important is his eight blood moons, right. or his six blood moons. So pretty much when you're the, uh, the Storm player here, you need to fetch Island Swamp pretty early um, because it, Blood Moon in his deck, in Ruben's deck, is just better than every other deck because you have four Simeon Spirit guys, you have eight uh, two colors mana producing lands, so you can play a turn one Blood Moon without any care in the world, and then if you haven't played it, if you played a fetch and you got an Underground Sea, you're going to be really hating yourself. Right, right. So, yeah, generally, Brian only have one source of blue mana, one source of, you know, one an island, and then, like, maybe a lotus petal might right. get him a starting black mana. Yeah, it seems like Blood Moon is less effective against your deck than a lot of decks, because you do have access to the artifact mana as well. Yes. Uh, in addition, uh, BBD has one island, one swamp. Okay. So, a few cards that uh, BBD, or excuse me, Ruben is going to bring in. Um, I've seen people bring in artifact hate against Storm. It's kind of questionable at best because mm -hmm. when you have the LED, you can easily go off, and when you play the LED, so like a Manic Vandal is not the greatest. No. Um, a you, Phyrexian you, Revoker seems like the best possible one because it stops it you know, uh, cold hearted. So, right? yeah, Phyrexian Revoker is actually very good in the matchup. Unlike Pithing Needle, it can stop mana sources. Right, yeah. So, you can so he LED. can name Lion's Eye Diamond or uh, Lotus Petal. Right, right. So, we're going to see the Phyrexian Revoker come and in. And the, the big card for Ruben 
is uh, four copies of Thorn of Amethyst. Right, yeah, and if we could pull Thorn of Amethyst up on the screen here. It's a card not really played too much because it's usually in the decks only that have City of Treasures and Ancient Tombs because especially on the draw, you don't have time to tap two lands the hard way and play right. this card. It's much better through one of the cheating ways to sneak it into play here. So we're going to see Thorn of Amethyst come in, making things cost one more. We're going to see Phyrexian Revoker come in, and here it is on the screen. Uh, Non-creature spells cost one more to play. Uh, right. And if you notice, Ruben's deck has 17 creatures made, so it's not really going to hurt him too bad. Right. And the other thing about uh, Thorn, of, Thorn of Amethyst, Sphere of Resistance is the exact same card, except for it makes all spells. Right. This is only not in creatures. Yeah, so it doesn't hurt him as bad. doesn't hurt him as much. Because he, he doesn't want Thorn of Amethyst against other creature decks. Right, exactly. Uh, what are the, I think he boards out Chandra Pyromancer. That seems miserable in this matchup. Right. Okay. That's a. Uh, Ruben was calling it Red Jace. Red Jace, yeah. I think it, we it's something Jace out. that you can <laughs> repeatedly draw cards with. Right. This is not an attrition matchup. No. Uh, and the other card I uh, would take out if I was Ruben is Lightning Bolt. Yeah, Lightning Bolt. So that's exactly five cards for exactly five cards in. Frexian Revoker, Fourth Order Amethyst. Red Elemental Blast, uh, can stop a Brainstorm. It's, it can stop Ruben it. also has a couple of uh, uh, tutor targets. He has uh, Imperial Recruiter. Yeah. This deck, and it has some uh, <clears throat> Silver Bullets, basically. Yeah. Some single cards like Jaya Ballard is not super exciting. Spell Sky is pretty much a blank card. Yeah, yeah, so those need to come out too. And Goblin Welder, not super exciting either. Yeah, so he could bring in like Magus of the Moon, he could bring in, uh, yeah. he, could, he could bring in the Manic Vandal if he really wants to. Because a lot of times I've seen Storm players, I don't know. He could bring in additional Red Blast. Or, yeah, the Red Blast he, is good here. Because uh, he has six main and two more on the sideboard. Right. So Brian Bra uh, Brian Brandwin should not be leaning on his uh, blue spells. Right, right. All right, so the beauty about the Blast, too, can repair servant, it don't even matter if you have blue spells, right? You right, you can name. blow up lands, yeah, yeah, blow yeah. up, you know, I remember one of Infernal Tutors. You ever played those, uh, what was that card called? It was like two mana, it was like the lens where you could tap it and make a permanent, a color of your choice. I forgot <clears throat> what it's called, Distorting Lens. Yes. I remember playing Distorting Lens with all the Blast, too. It was pretty fun, FNM deck. Well, it's fun for me, not fun for other people, but <laughs> it's the blowyourlandsup.com here. All right, so BB starts off with a swamp. Yeah, so Brian knows that to play around the Blood Moon effects. So he's fetching out a swamp, likely going to see a duress. Yeah. Yep. Uh, it looks like he has a. Yep, there it is. The old uh, M14 duress, I think, right? Uh, it's the picture multiple times. Well, come on, Brian. You don't need this. He has sweet dark rituals. Okay, we'll let it have it. That's a lot of pair servants. All right, so uh, only one option. Yep. If Brian somehow had a Lotus Petal and a Cabal Therapy, mm, yeah. would not be happy. Therapy would just be the bee's knees here. He only has, what, one Therapy? No, two main, one in the board. So he's yes. up to three after sideboard. Does he have a Therapy in his hand? Because that would be just... Even though he's going to only get two of the pair servants, just don't take two pair servants out of the picture. It's not bad. And then if he did bring in the Abrupt Decay, oh, the only so, one that last one, he is just out of... I think... Uh, Ruben, I understand why Ruben would want to play Phyrexian Revoker, uh, just to up the clock and to stop him. He probably won't die, yeah, but, if but he he's therapy, this really be, weak to therapy this right here. This would be here. a disaster. Yeah. So uh, Ruben names the default card in this matchup, Lion's Eye Diamond. Yeah, there's no need to play it now on Lion's Eye Diamond because A, Duress doesn't hit Revoker, and B, if he has a therapy, I would rather him hit my Revoker than the only way I can combo off and win. Because I'll be down to one Painter Servant after that, and mm -hmm. chances are not looking good here. So Ruben's taking a risky play here. If BBD, when he preordains, does not see a therapy, then Ruben will uh, skate by or yeah. unscathed. The other option uh, that like that Ruben needs to consider is what if Brian just has a turn to win in his hand? Yeah, that's like very. It's not. Uh, very frequent, but it's very much a possibility. Right, and he's playing the safe route against it. Uh, I think with a hand that bad that Ruben has, I would probably still play the Painter Servant. Yeah, what if, what if I he draws, would. Uh, yeah, if he draws so here's a, Infernal Tutor and uh, Past in Flames, right, I believe. Right, so he's going to be safe. He's going to take, yeah, he's likely going to take one of them because he needs a way to come up. He wants both of them, however. Okay, so. I think he's going to set up for, I believe Brian's going to go for turn four. Oh wow, he drew a mountain, so now he has access to Blast after he plays Painter Servant, so he can counter any spell in BBD's deck. Alternatively, if uh, Ruben wanted to, he could just uh, Stone Rain. He could, he could. All, literally, all permanents are blue now. Yeah, I think he's not going to. Um, I think he's going to go the safe route, because he's going to next turn then play two more Painter Servants and then just have the clock. The 1-3 right, clock. So, yeah, it looks like 
Brian does have a land. So I think what I expect is a brainstorm first here uh, to shuffle away the dead uh, the dead lion's eye diamond. Right. And then... I, if I was Ruben... And then one of his infernal, uh, Brian's infernal tutors is probably going to be cast this turn because he already has passed in flames. Do you uh, blast the brainstorm here when your hands just I, leak? I would, I, I would, would have blood. blasted the brainstorm. Yeah, me too. I think like with a hand like this, it's not like you can stop a combo off at this turn. You need to just hope you can deny him the cards in order to combo. But uh, he's going to let it go. So he's going to just hope it low. Kind of interesting that Brian wanted a a fourth land as opposed to shuffling first. Yeah, me too. I think he's I think he's looking at that passive flames in hand and maybe trying to get, eke out the most advantage from it. A lot of times, I guess you can just pass it flames and then refill your hand with your graveyard if you're struggling because he does have the probe brainstorm preordained in the yard. But uh, I think so, most of the time when you're going off, I think it's time to just you know win instead of uh, dilly dally here. So let's see what he does. So I think Brian needs to wait one more turn. He also really oh. Uh, one subtle storm thing that I did not learn initially, and I think Brian did make a mistake on keeping his land, is that if he draws a land next turn, he can't go hellbent with his Infernal Tutor. Mm, that's true, yeah. Because, because of the Phyrexian Revoker on Lion's Eye Diamond, he's just going to have to naturally play out his whole hand right, yeah. to go hellbent. Maybe he kept the land because of he because an LED wouldn't do it for him. Maybe he needs that extra mana. I didn't crush the numbers, but... You're right, if he draws a land, he will have to at least wait another turn and then keep that waiting with another land drawn. Every land he draws is crippling, I guess. Yes. So we'll see. I do feel like... So here's the all-natural one you were talking about. I need my deck back, please. So he's not going to uh, get a Hellbent Infernal Tutor yet. Right, I think he's just going to give you another ritual, yep. Yep, Cabal Ritual. Uh, that'll be the... Yep, that's seven cards. So that's eight cards, actually. So it's thresholded already, right. but he just wants more mana. Right, yeah, and he's got the lowly volcanic island over there, so he can actually ritual all day, pass in flames, do it all again because he has that fourth land at hand. But we have a stone rain. Yep. Now, if you were going to stone rain, you probably should have done it earlier. I mean, you come in with a plan of, A, I'm going to use this card to disrupt, or B, I'm going to LDM. Ruben doesn't want to let him use his mana, then stone rain him, so... Hopefully, uh, learns from that. So Ruben here, let's see what he's got. So Brian down to 10, just the Phyrexian Revoker beats. Right. And people think that, oh, I can just pay all the life in the world when I'm, you know, playing against Storm, because they're combo not going to yeah. yeah, but then... That's every, every time you tap Ancient Tomb is one less Storm yeah. that uh, Brian has. So I think Brian actually has to, oh, Brian's actually in a decent amount of trouble. I don't think he can combo off this turn. Uh, Ruby gives uh, BBD the old shucks, shucks. Uh, when, once he plays a land. Yeah. I might have wanted to brain. Oh man, that's a tough one. So, Brian uh, can't. I think he's going to try to go, isn't he? Well, he can't because uh, he has a brainstorm in his hand that right. he needs to get rid of for Infernal Tutor to be yeah. hellbent. Right. And then he also has to have two. He has to pay two mana for Cabal Ritual. So. And one red for past in flames. So that's four different starting manas. Right. And BBD doesn't have that. He only yeah. has three. It really, people take for granted that the LED discard your hand is not a negative in this deck. <laughs> it's I the mean, most powerful ability in Magic. I right. think Brian's actually in. He might have just realized that he. needs to get rid of that brainstorm. Yeah, see what he does here. I mean, he obviously can, he doesn't have the luxury of blue mana galore to do all that preordaining and stuff in the yard to fix his mana. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what uh, BBD can do here. Well, I think actually, he, no, he, no, he, he has this because he gets to brainstorm with that last blue. No, no, that's for red, that's a oh, red. Oh yeah, red, yeah. For so, past and flames. So he has to hit, what's he? I don't, <laughs> yeah, so you, you see uh, BBD's mana, but, uh. Unless there's something, because you can't dress yourself. Right. Yeah, yeah. If uh, you could dress yourself, you could therapy yourself. Yeah, I think he realizes. 
Yeah, what it? Uh, yeah, what yeah, just yeah, happened? Yeah, yeah. I think he maybe he thought he could duress himself. So storm is five mana is up to eleven. Are we missing mana? something in the beginning of his graveyard, or? I don't know. We'll find out. Yeah, because right now it's looks like BBD is a kind of seppuku here, the old suicide in the magic terms. He does have two attacks in probe, so he can possibly draw something, right? It's yeah. So oh, okay, so here's here's a mistake, and Brian just realizes this. Yeah, uh, uh, duress himself. He he his line was to duress himself. Right. All right, so he's got a probe here. Here we go. Probe here. If he hits therapy, what's that? Dark ritual. Okay. That's actually not the worst thing in the world, but he's not in great shape. So, does he have to? He cannot go off this turn. No, no, he can't. He's got to say go. So next turn, it's conceivable that BBD can brainstorm and, like, he needs some more mana. Right. But, yeah, uh, missing the, the whole dress thing uh, really costs uh, Brian here. He's still not out of it because Ruben does not, cannot kill him. Right. And there's no banner burn, thankfully. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah he had, uh, what, uh, 14 mana floating. He yep. shakes his head. It's okay, BBD. We love you, buddy. It happens to the best of us. So, pretty solid draw from Ruben, uh, Frexian Revoker. And if I can segue from it, it's another reason why people ask, why do you play that garbage Esper deck all the time? Yeah. When you play the same deck over and over and over, it really minimizes mistakes. Even though my percentage That's chance good. of winning is like 30%, you know, still. BBD's an amazing player, but playing a brand Jeez. new deck is a little bit rough. That, as it turns out, Ruben's second a fraction Revoker, assuming it names Lotus Petal, is huge here. Yeah, I'm assuming it did. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think there's even another card you can name. Right. You can name, you can do a sick name of a uh, polluted Delta, right? I can't name, name land, land cards. Oh, Pithy Neal can land But lands, unfortunately right. for Brian, he only has uh, exactly enough mana to cast past him flames. He won't have any, any mana left over. So I think Ruben's going to take this one down. Yeah, yeah, he's uh, he's dead. Uh, BBD waiting one turn, probably could have won this game. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Well, if he just cast his brainstorm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, before starting, he would have drawn Dark Ritual or Lotus Petal. Yeah, which he could have just expended in play, and then yeah, which he would have been able to. He would have. He just basically needed a card to get rid of right. with brainstorm, and and he also needed a mana source, either Dark Ritual or Lotus Petal. Yeah. But uh, yeah, Brian just missing the. I think in Brian's head he could duress himself, in, right. which, in which case his his play was fine. Right, you can thought seize yourself. You, you can, can cabal inquis- therapy. Yeah, you yourself. can. You can inquisition. You can't duress. Those are the uh, target mm-hmm. opponent reveals their hand, then you get to choose. So it's kind of a, a little nuance that you need to be very careful of, especially if you're trying to take a complicated line of play like that. You got to make sure the cards can target yourself. Um, Historically speaking, you're playing reanimator. Reanimator decks always thought seize themselves when they're yes. you know, desperate. Discard the card, um, and that's how they go. Uh, Dredge is another deck that uh, uses Cabal Therapy on itself, right. uh, not all the time. 